the Leibniz case, you were referencing representations of representations and you have a hierarchy. Right. In the Wolfram case, it sounds like you have what is not a computer and then what exhibits computer-like qualities, and then you hit universal computer. Right. But there's nothing above that. Exactly. And that's kind of the point is that you, you, you smash into this sort of upper ceiling of computation relatively quickly. Right, it's sort of a low speed limit, and you, you, whatever vehicle you're in, quickly hits that right, speed right. limit, because that's what's that's what's so profound about universality is that's the ceiling. There's nothing, there's nothing more powerful than that, um, and so if that is relatively easy to to create spontaneously, in some sense, by chance, we get a computer like object, uh, a universal machine, then we want to think about well, what's the the analogous part is the software that would go with it. Right, so Wolfram suggests that it's relatively easy to find computers in the wild. Well, what's the chance they have any interesting programming to go with that? 